radio. Right, folks. This is the 18th of August. It's 9.20 in the evening. <coughs> it's a race from Chelmsford City. It's a one mile race and you won't believe it but it's literally a two horse race. Now, I'm listening to William Hill Radio. Let's turn up a bit. Well, not a, a huge amount we can say about this last race. This um, is a stupid race. Got about three minutes to post time right. for the final race of the evening this from uh, Chelmsford City. Alan Stante is the one to nine favourite yeah. from Valence Road, who's a five to one He's shot. Trading at one point I mean, uh, eleven. An unbelievably uncompetitive race. Um, if this were a handicap, Alan Stante um, would have to give Valence Road Valence nineteen road. pounds. Uh, because it's a conditions race, they're on level harder. weight, Luke and uh, Sir Mark Prescott's filly has shown a high level of form already today. It's, it should be fairly straightforward, shouldn't it? Um, on either I side of the, the, uh, the, 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 the You can see the amount of money that's been traded on either side, and it's, uh, it's crazy. Um, 374,000 traded at the moment, and there's, uh, what, three minutes to go, less than three minutes to go. This race should have even gone ahead. It's just absolutely crazy. And the craziest thing about it is that the prize money for this race is, I believe, £17,000 to the winner. It's just stupid. Turn up the radio a little bit and hear some commentary. At, uh, Newmarket, two out things ago, beating only three and a half lengths. That was a fairly strong uh, race, in fairness to Valence Road, and, and she credited herself really well. Um, last time out, again, no shame in losing three lengths to Montserrat. Mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, right, so I'll turn the radio down. So here we are with uh, a couple of minutes to go. Uh, you can see here, I mean, no volatility on the on the favourite. I mean, look at the amount of money on both sides. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, this one here is Valence Road. Well, obviously, doesn't have a hope in hell's chance of winning the race, and it's bobbing around ten, ten and a half. But if you look at the, the graphs, the way of the money. This is balanced at one point one one, one point one two. Look at the ladder interface, and you get a true picture of the amount of money that's currently uh, being traded. Crazy. 400 grand. And uh, well, what, do, what am I going to do on this race? Well, I was going to snipe it, 22 quid, green up, and just see what happens. But uh, <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous. I'll probably put this on YouTube because maybe some people won't believe that this race ever took place in the first place. Let's hear more from Milton Hill Radio. Uh, well, this event Alan Stante is seconds. in the stalls. 30 seconds. We've just gone past post time, haven't we? Valence Road is loading. Right. Set. This event is now are. in play. We're off. And they're off. This is the winner football fortune with Scoop 6 Soccer Phillies condition stakes and £17,500 in prize money and the two of them to fight it out. Alan Stanty has gone into a lead of a length and a half over Valence Road. Alan Stanty under Luke Morris, tracked by John Egan on Valence Road. John Egan already having ridden a winner here earlier this evening and is currently spotting his rival a length and a half on Nick Lickmadon's Valence Road with Alan Stante, a winner here on her debut over six furlongs. And Valence Road also won her first start. That was at uh, Newmarket earlier in the season. Luke Morris just takes a, a little look there to see that he's a couple of lengths up on Valence Road. Oh, and now she's just jinking oh, oh, right there, oh, oh. Alan Stante. Just lost concentration. And certainly didn't like the look of something. But Luke Morris has got her mind back on the job happens. and leading by two lengths something to Valence Road. Alan Stante leading Valence Road. Egan is still keeping tabs on Morris as they now come inside the three and head back towards home. Alan Stante in front, just winding it up. Valence Road just being niggled in second just to try and keep tabs, as I say, on the leader inside the two.
to Alan Stancy. About two lengths ahead of Valence Row, John Egan now starts to work away. Morris likewise on Alan Stante. She's got the advantage, but not like a, a one to ten shot here, just hanging a bit inside the furlong. Valence Row trying to throw down the challenge. Morris has to go for the whip now on Alan Stante. Still has the lead. It's probably about a length. Valence Road is running a valiant race, but Alan Stante will win by a length. Alan Stante takes a big prize and beats. There you go then. Alan Stante won the race. I greened up at two pound twenty nine, but one of the daftest races you'll ever see in your life. But there you go. Came out with a profit. I'll stick it on YouTube. Some people might never believe it ever happened. Bye bye.